How to stop comparing yourself to others. That is today's Paano Ba to Issue. And I'm so happy I have her with me to give us all advice. Please welcome Miss Joyce. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited. Thank, Thank you for the exchange guesting. Yeah. <laughs> exchange guesting. So yeah, we were talking about it earlier and you felt that this topic is something that you're going through it also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess what has worked? For you, mm-hmm. I feel like the industry that I work in, it's really so easy to compare yourself with others because you're surrounded with the best of the best. I guess any industry, right? You're working with people who are sometimes smarter than you, prettier than you, who are better off than you, who travel more than you. So, parang I'm always bombarded with this feeling of parang hindi ako enough. And I realize that for us to be able to stop comparing ourselves to others, you have to go to the root of the problem, okay. which is you're really looking at the highlights of other people's lives and comparing it not only to your highlights but also to your lowlights. Mm -hmm. Not just your conversations but social media more more importantly. So some of the steps that I've taken to actually stop myself from comparing with other people is to take social media hibernations or social media breaks. Mm -hmm. So I would set within maybe every two or three months or every weekend I don't touch my social media or I delete Mm -hmm. it for the weekend. I delete my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook, my everything. Delete talaga. Delete the app. Kasi mm-hmm. na-realize ko na sometimes when I take these hibernations, ang nangyayari is I would mindlessly open my phone and start searching for the app. Ha- have you ever tried mm-hmm. that? Na parang hindi mo napapansin, parang dun na automatic pumupunta yung daliri mo. Um, force of habit. Yes, yeah. force mm-hmm. of habit. So I realized that by taking that out, I am actually kind of taking a mental break also of being bombarded with all of these amazing photos and highlights of other people's mm-hmm. lives mm-hmm. on social media. So that has really helped me. One other thing that I would usually do is to really start my day with a sense of gratitude. And that's usually, for a lot of people, it's meditation. For me, I pray a lot. I play good worship music. I sit down, I pray to God, and I really just start counting down the blessings that I have from the very beginning of the day, which is, mm-hmm. I'm awake. I have another day to spend my life. I am looking forward to going to work or eating my breakfast or going to a workout. I look at my dog and I be like, I'm so excited because I have the privilege of taking care and walking my dog. So Mm -hmm. by just having that sense of gratitude instead of comparison in the beginning of your day, you set yourself up for a sense of, I'm thankful. One thing that you have to do when you start comparing yourself with others is to really slow down start counting your blessings. And when you do that, it's really hard for you to look at other people and and just compare yourself to them. Mm-hmm. And one other thing that I've, I've really learned is yung timelines natin magkakaiba talaga eh. Some people have different timelines. Other people also have different levels of success. And just because you're not there yet, it doesn't mean you'll never be there. Mm-hmm. And just because they're there now, hindi ibig sabihin na yun dapat yung maging definition mo of success. You have to be able to define that for yourself too. Right. It's so important, I think, what you said na how you start your day is mm-hmm. so important. Kasi yeah. nowadays, pagising natin, bukas agad ng mm. phone, check agad. So you start your day sort of medyo distracted, mm-hmm. bad mood at worst comparing yourself to other feeling bad about yourself but I think that simple habit of sige kung hindi mo kaya yung talagang social media detox yung just start your day by not checking your phone do other things first ikapi yeah. ka muna Uh-oh. even watch TV first mm-hmm. or anything before you go on to check social media. Yeah. At saka kung mahilig ka din magsulat or kahit hindi ka nga mahilig magsulat eh, what I do now is I just write before I go to sleep three things that I'm grateful that happened that day. Mm, like a gratitude journal. Yeah. yeah. yeah a like a gra- more and more people I know are doing gratitude journals. Yeah. Now. And sometimes nakaka-overwhelm kasi yung talagang buong araw mo yung isusulat mo, di ba? So sometimes you can just start with like pointers, like the three things that you did today that you're really grateful for. Mm. Whether that's you caught up with your friend and had lunch with them or you had a really good lunch, right. di ba? Parang yung mga ganong maliliit yes. na bagay and then you'd be surprised sometimes when you feel down or when you feel like comparing yourself to others and you feel so useless na parang ah oh, bakit ganito yung buhay ko tapos pag binasa mo siya ulit may kita mo your past self kind of reminding yeah. you see look right. at the things that you were once grateful for that you are now taking I guess you're not taking 
too much uh, mind into. So. Right. Definitely attitude of gratitude, di ba nga? I mm-hmm. think it makes a world of a difference. And another thing I feel has helped me is yung, it's so important nga to know what you are grateful for. But aside from that, look at the things in your life na you never even wished for or asked for, mm-hmm. pero binigay sa'yo. Yeah. Those are for me parang little miracles na, for example, may ganitong blessing ka or may dumating na ganito mm-hmm. or you met a new wonderful friend. Parang these are things, hindi mo naman siya hinihinga, hindi mo siya wish, but it was given to you. So, being grateful and finding, parang pinpointing yung mga ganon mm-hmm. sa buhay mo will help you be a bit more grateful. Yeah. And one last thing that I think has really helped me to compare myself less to other people is to focus instead on how you can help or uplift or serve others, right? The comparison comes from this self-awareness na ito lang yung meron ako, ito yung ginagawa ko ngayon, ito yung mga gusto kong puntahan. Pero, if you actually focus your energy instead and your attention to who can I help? Who can yeah. I brighten up today? Who can I check up on? It doesn't even have to be a big thing. Well, obviously, you can start volunteering and being mm-hmm. a part of organizations. But even just texting someone yes. and being like, hey, kamusta ka? How's your day? Especially if you know someone who's struggling with um, mental health or who's struggling with their work, diba? Mm-hmm. Or with the relationships that they have. Just being able to focus your energy instead on helping others and checking up on your loved ones yes. will help you divert your attention. For sure. I super, super agree with that. Thank you so much! Yay! It's such a short time you're able to give so many, I feel, doable tips that a lot of people don't think will help. But mm-hmm. if you put it all together and if you practice it regularly, definitely it will help. Ah, thank you so well, much! Thank you. I love thank you. you! I love you! Thank you! Thank you so much for this chance to get advice from you. We hope that helped you. I'm sure it did. Um, Till next time, bye. Bye!